Ever felt tempted by a delicious cake when you're on a diet? It's a common struggle, isn't it? We all aim to maintain a balanced, healthy diet, but once in a while we find ourselves face to face with a tempting dessert, like a heavenly slice of cake. It's a test of willpower, a challenge that many of us grapple with. Today, we're going to delve into this sweet dilemma and offer some strategies to resist the cake temptation. Stay tuned if you want to learn how to stay strong in the face of such sweet temptations. Let's dive into why we often find ourselves craving for sweets like cake. Sugar is a sneaky player, activating our brain's pleasure center and releasing dopamine, which is known as a feel-good chemical. This gives us a sense of pure delight, making each bite of a delicious cake seem like a mini festivity. But why does this occur? From an evolutionary perspective, our bodies are programmed to desire high-energy foods. These were often sweet, ripe, energy-rich fruits back when we were hunters and gatherers. Sadly, in today's world, instead of hunting and gathering, we're surrounded by an abundance of processed foods, loaded with quickly absorbed, refined sugars. This results in a quick rise in blood sugar and a burst of energy, which inevitably leads to a crash, making us feel tired and groggy, and craving more sugar to regain the lost energy. Stress and fatigue also play a significant role. When we're stressed or tired, our bodies demand quick energy, hence the hankering for cake or other sweets. This instinctual drive is often the reason we find ourselves rummaging through the fridge or pantry when we're feeling overwhelmed or exhausted. Also, we can't ignore the social and emotional aspects. Cake is often a star attraction in celebrations and get-togethers, associating it with joy, comfort, and camaraderie. This emotional connection can amplify our cravings for cake, even when we're not physically hungry. Understanding why we crave can help us find healthier ways to satisfy these cravings. It's about finding a balance, not completely eliminating cake from our lives. By understanding why we're tempted by cake, we can start making mindful decisions about when to indulge and when to opt for healthier alternatives. Now, what can you do when the craving for cake hits? You might be thinking, there's no way I can resist that chocolatey delight. But hold your horses, folks, because you've got options that can help keep your diet on track. First stop on our list of healthier alternatives is the fruit section. Fruits are nature's candy, packed full of natural sugars, fiber, vitamins, and minerals. Consider a bowl of juicy, ripe strawberries or a crisp apple. Their natural sweetness can help curb that craving for cake. Plus, they're chock full of nutrients that your body will thank you for. Next up, we've got yogurt. Now, I'm not talking about those sugar-laden varieties. Look for plain Greek yogurt. It's tangy, creamy, and a fantastic source of protein. Sweeten it up with a drizzle of honey or a handful of fresh berries, and you've got yourself a satisfying sweet treat. And let's not forget about dark chocolate. I'm talking about the kind that's at least 70% cocoa. It's rich, it's decadent, and a small piece can go a long way in satisfying your sweet tooth. Plus, dark chocolate is packed with antioxidants, so you can feel good about this indulgence. You might be thinking, but none of these are cake. And you're right, they're not. But they are delicious, satisfying alternatives that won't derail your diet. Over time, as you consistently choose these healthier options, you may find your cravings for cake become less frequent and intense. And here's the thing, folks. We're not saying you can never have cake again. We're just suggesting some healthier ways to indulge that sweet tooth of yours. It's all about balance and making mindful choices that align with your health goals. So the next time that cake craving hits, remember you've got options. Reach for some fruit, a bowl of Greek yogurt, or a piece of dark chocolate. Remember, the goal isn't to eliminate sweets entirely, but to find healthier ways to indulge. Another strategy to resist cake temptation is mindful eating. Now you might be wondering, what's this mindful eating all about? Well, it's pretty much exactly what it sounds like, being fully conscious and present in the moment while you're eating. Mindful eating involves really paying attention to your body's hunger and fullness cues. Instead of just eating because there's cake in the room, you start to ask yourself, Am I actually hungry? Do I really need this piece of cake right now? You might find that often the answer is no. It's not just about when you eat though, it's also about how you eat. So when you do decide to have that piece of cake, you savor it. You eat slowly, taking the time to really taste and enjoy each bite. You might find that you feel satisfied with just a few bites, rather than needing to eat the whole slice. 
The beauty of mindful eating is that it can help us feel satisfied with smaller portions of cake, or even choose to skip it altogether. It's not about denying ourselves the foods we love. It's about enjoying them in a way that's healthy and balanced. This doesn't mean you can't ever have cake again. Far from it. But it does mean that when you do have cake, you'll enjoy it more. You'll savor each bite, and you'll feel satisfied with less. And that's a win-win situation, isn't it? You get to enjoy your favorite treat, and you stay on track with your diet. So next time you're faced with that tempting piece of cake, try practicing mindful eating. Pay attention to your hunger and fullness cues, eat slowly, and really savor each bite. You might just find that you don't need as much cake to feel satisfied. With mindful eating, you can enjoy your food more and still stay on track with your diet. Sometimes it helps to have a little support in our healthy eating journey. We are not islands, but interconnected beings, and our relationships can play a significant role in how we navigate our path to better health. Having a support network, like family, friends, or even a dietitian, can be a game changer in sticking to our diet goals. Why? Well, for starters, a support network can provide accountability. When you share your goals with someone else, it becomes real, something tangible. You're not just accountable to yourself, but to others who are invested in your success. But it's not just about accountability. A support network also offers encouragement. We all have those days when we feel like we're not making progress, or we're tempted to reach for that slice of cake. In those moments, a kind word or a gentle reminder of how far we've come can make all the difference. Now, how do we go about building this support network? It starts with communication. Share your goals with your loved ones. Let them know why this is important to you and what it means for your health and well being. Be specific about how they can support you. This could be cooking healthy meals together, going for walks, or even just checking in on your progress. Likewise, if you're working with a dietitian or a health coach, be open about your struggles and victories. They are there to help guide you but they can only do so effectively if they understand your unique journey. And remember, not all support has to come from people you know personally. There are numerous online communities and forums dedicated to healthy eating and lifestyle changes. These can be a great source of inspiration, advice, and camaraderie. In the end, building a support network is about surrounding yourself with positive influences who understand and respect your goals. It's about creating a community that uplifts you and helps you stay on track. Remember, you don't have to do this alone. With the right support, you can resist the temptation of cake. Let's recap what we've learned today. We started by diving deep into the heart of our craving for cake. It's not just about the sweet, fluffy goodness, but the emotional comfort and pleasure it provides. But remember, it's okay to have a sweet tooth. The key is in managing it wisely. We then explored healthier alternatives. From fruit-based desserts, to homemade treats with less sugar and more wholesome ingredients, there are a plethora of options that can satisfy your cravings without derailing your health journey. The world of healthy desserts is vast and exciting, waiting for you to explore and experiment. Mindful eating was our next stop. We discussed how being present in the moment, savoring each bite, and listening to your body's signals can transform your relationship with food. It's not about denying yourself pleasures, but about enjoying them in a balanced, conscious way. Finally, we touched on the importance of a support network. Whether it's a friend who shares your health goals or a community like our Healthy Goals Club, having people who understand and support your journey can make all the difference. Remember, it's okay to lean on others and seek help when needed. Now, you're equipped with an arsenal of strategies to help you resist the temptation of cake and maintain your healthy eating habits. With these strategies, you can resist the temptation of cake and stay on track with your healthy eating goals. Thanks for watching.